Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome to another RebelScum.com video review. Today, we're taking a look at one of the figures from the Retro Series line of Star Wars, and that is the Retro Figure Collection from Star Wars The Mandalorian. It was pretty exciting to see Hasbro come back with some original vintage-style figures a couple years back when they started the Retro Series, and it was even more exciting when they started doing characters that actually weren't released in the original vintage toy line. And it's just cool to see some some characters that just never made it into that style and that style. And it's even more exciting that they're doing characters from original new content that definitely didn't exist in that timeline. And that is specifically the Mandalorian. Now, the Mandalorian has an awesome set of characters in their collection. Um, obviously, some of them have been reused figures from the past. For example, IG-11 is just a repainted IG-88, which, I mean, that makes sense. A The Remnant Stormtrooper is just a repaint of the regular Stormtrooper, and that also makes sense. I mean, honestly, though, these days, you could probably get away with just having one of your regular beat-up Stormtroopers that you played with from back in the day be your Remnant Stormtrooper, since its odds are very yellowed or dirty. But here we have Cara Dune. This is a character that you probably couldn't really put together from any of your vintage toys from back in the day. And... This is an awesome figure. I mean, it looks really, really cool. They did a really good job on this. And I like I like the card. I like how they still have the big retro sticker on that. That's another awesome callback to back in the day when you would have your uh, loose, not loose, your um, mail-away figure promotions or special promotions where you could send in some proof of purchases and get, for example, a uh, emperor figure in the mail. I, I really like that. Really cool stuff. So some people didn't like the retro sticker being on the card back because you don't really get to see all of the character profile here, which you do have Cara Dune as she appeared in The Mandalorian here. Um, however, I think it's really cool. I think it, it's a really nice callback to that. So there she is. Simple card. Cara Dune. You got, some, you got a picture of her from the show. You got The Mandalorian up there at the top on the back. Nothing really special. It, it lists off some of the other figures from this set of retro figures. However, it doesn't show them, which that's one of the things I wish they got with the retro series. I know with um, with the retro series, Hasbro's been playing it very safe and being very careful so that they don't have any confusion for somebody maybe trying to trick somebody else with by passing a retro figure off as a original vintage figure. Um, part of some of the things they do to get away from that is, of course, the custom weathered look on the card back. It's not actually weathered. That's just how the card back is printed. Um, they have these very plain word filled backs. But I feel like with the Mandalorian set, they could get away with it. Having a classic style with figures on display card back like they did back in the day because, well, these figures didn't exist back then. So I think they could. But that's just me. anyway. The card back's awesome. But the figure is even more awesome. So here she is. She just comes in this bubble. She comes with a small little blaster pistol accessory and her heavy repeater blaster rifle that she has in the series. Um, I like that it's also cast in a very vintage blaster like style. It looks very, very cool. Um, I like that it also has the strap like it does in the series and on the other figures. I like that the blaster pistol she comes with isn't any blaster pistol in particular that was previously released in vintage. So while these are um, not original vintage weapons, these weapons are original and unique to this figure. She doesn't come with any holsters like her other figure counterparts do. And just like an original vintage style figure, she's only five POA, which means five points of articulation. She has articulation at the shoulders, at the hips, and at the head. And that's it. It just turns side to side, up and down, up and down, and that's all you get. But even the level of detail on here is awesome. There's a lot of molded detail on here. There's a lot of awesome painted detail on here. I like that they've got her tattoos on her arms here because she is a shock trooper of the Rebel Alliance, or former Rebel Alliance. Um, doesn't look like they got her little rebel insignia face tattoo on her cheek on this figure. Unfortunately, I think that would have been a cool detail to have. But again, this is also supposed to be uh, reminiscent of how figures were back in the day. She can hold both of her blasters at once. 
You can put her little pistol in her left hand. You can put her heavy can her heavy cannon in her right hand. And she can pass out pew pews to any stormtroopers who get in her way. And for comparison, she does stand rather nicely next to, say, a fully articulated version of herself. Here she is next to the vintage collection release of Cara Dune. Looks like her retro figure is just a little bit shorter than the VC release. However, the VC release is a much fuller detailed figure with all of the articulation you would want. Um, same weapons. She's got her heavy blaster, her blaster pistol. Um, but in addition, the VC one, of course, comes with her knife as well, except it is, oh, it's molded to her boot, so you can't even take that out. So there you go. I think this is an awesome set. Uh, the retro line is really cool. I hope they do more characters like this in retro series. But what are some characters you would like to see in the future? Now that they've done Star Wars, they've done Empire Strikes Back, and now they've done characters from The Mandalorian, what's a series from retro you would like to see? Maybe it's Clone Wars. Maybe it's Rebels. I personally would love to see a Captain Rex and maybe even an Ahsoka in the retro style. I think that would be very, very cool. But let us know in the comments, guys. Please feel free to engage with us because that's very important to our show here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and follow us on Twitter. And that's it for today, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in to this RebelScum.com video. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. And may the Force be with all of you, you Rebel Scum.